Lifestyles continues. Elder Law Attorney Gary Price is back with us today to guide us through Medicaid planning and just how our homes might fit into that plan. It's good to see you as always. Good to be here. On this Thank rainy you. old day. So yes. good to be indoors, right? Yes, absolutely. Okay, what do we need to, to know? If we're, if we're starting to think about Medicaid or maybe we're in the throes of it, where do we begin, Gary? Well, with the home, it, interesting because that's probably the number one question I get uh, or comment. A lot of times the comment is, uh, well... I have to apply for Medicaid, so I guess I'm going to lose the home. And or, I've heard people say it many or I'm gonna, times. Or, they're gonna, or they are going to take yes, my home. They are going to take your um, And that's not the case. So um, let's, and, and I get it because it's, it's your number, it's probably your largest investment. Your, yes. And so there's, there's good reason to be concerned. But um, generally speaking, the home is exempt. They won't take your home. They okay? won't take your home. Um, for a married couple, for example where you have a, uh, a spouse who is going to have to go into the nursing home and a spouse that will be uh, staying in the community. In that case, the home is exempt, which means it's, it's sheltered. Uh, Medicaid's not going to take it. It's, it's not an issue in the Medicaid application. The community spouse will keep the home. Now, in a situation where there is no community spouse and it's, it's just a single person applying, a little bit different. Uh, the first thing to think about is intent. If the person going into the nursing home, single person going into the nursing home, has an intent to return home once they leave the nursing home. So they're home, going for rehab or, or stay. Well, maybe, but maybe not. Maybe they don't know whether they're going to come home or not. And maybe the possibility of them coming home is not very good. But if they have an intent, uh, then the home is exempt. And how do you state said intent? Intent. Well, if the applicant is in the condition to do so, then often we can do a written statement, and I'll include that with the Medicaid application. Or uh, there's been times when the Medicaid office has asked for the applicant's physician to write a statement that there is a possibility. I didn't say a reasonable intent. You know, mm -hmm. that's different. Just the intent. And um, so in that case, the home is exempt. But if we can't find and intent and we can't get a letter, then the applicant has to agree to either sell the home, place the home for sale, or place the home for rent. And if the applicant agrees to do one of those things, then the applicant will go ahead and be uh, eligible for Medicaid, pending the home selling, and then there could be an issue, or pending the home being placed or being actually rented. Uh, the point there is you don't have to sell the home before you're eligible. You have to place the home for sale. And so if you rent it, let's say, for example, and you, and you pass away, is that still part of what you can will to a child or grandchild or relative? It can be still a part of the will. And do you have to state that as you're writing the will? Uh, well, certainly. Yeah, the will would have to, um, well, if you want it to go, um, the property will go according to the terms of your will. If you don't have a will, it'll go th through uh, according to the terms of intestate succession. So you don't have to actually say it. It'll get passed on to your kids regardless. Anyway, but that's know. not part of the Medicaid plan per not, se, really? It, well, a will is part of the discussion, but, but as far as the Medicaid application, not necessarily. Not uh, necessarily. Uh, Gary, how can they get your book? Sure. Let me hold it up there for so, you. So um, a lot of this that we talked about is in the book, it, uh, about the home is in the book. Just call the office um, and I'll send you a free consultation. The telephone number is 812-479-8721. And again, just call the office. And I'll be happy to send you a uh, free copy. This is a very, very good book, regardless of your age, just to have on hand when you may need it. You never know. Thank you, Gary. You always learn something when you're here. Good to be we'll here. We'll be Thanks. back with more Lifestyles right after this. Stay with us. Get your book.